Welcome to Northwest Profiles, a look at people, places, and events of interest in the inland Northwest. The Seeing Ice Dogs of Calgary, Alberta are a blind hockey team with a vision. Their focus is to become more involved in the community, at social and cultural events, and of course, hockey. We wanted to play hockey because we love it, and we came up with some modifications to, to allow us to play. And so we, uh, it, it's an unusual sport to play. Um, it'd be very difficult if we were all completely blind. With the help of some sighted volunteers and a few modifications, we're able to still play hockey at a fairly competitive and fairly good level. Ice hockey may seem a bit unusual for blind athletes, but the seeing ice dogs are breaking away to play the sport they love. I find that the, that the hockey rink provides an atmosphere, an environment where there are no obstacles. It's a flat, featureless terrain and it's a great opportunity for blind people to find a union between movement and blindness. Every time the ice dogs step in the rink, they prove that whether blind or sighted, hockey is hockey. We play a great game of hockey. It's not the NHL or junior hockey, but we play a great game of hockey and we have a lot of fun. The Calgary Scene Ice Dogs are a non-profit organization in the Calgary Blind Hockey Association. The team is composed of blind players who wear black helmets, visually impaired players who wear red helmets, and sighted players who wear white helmets and act as guides for the blind members. They compete against other blind teams from across Canada and play in charity games for various local organizations. At first glance, blind hockey looks like any other hockey game, but look closer and you'll notice some differences. The puck is a little bit bigger than a conventional puck. It's a little thicker. The diameter is a little bit uh, wider. It is metal, and inside it has some ball bearings. And as the puck glides across the ice, the ball bearings are making noise. So we zero in on this the way bats would to their prey, I guess. And we hear the puck, and we uh, skate to it. And it's uh, very important. We wouldn't be able to play blind hockey without that metal puck. In blind hockey, the puck must stay on the ice at all times so the players can hear and react to it. Only blind or visually impaired players are allowed to score. Sighted players pass and assist the blind players, yelling out instructions to help them navigate on the ice. To level the playing field when they play sighted teams, the ice dogs blindfold the opposing team's goalie. They also have the sighted teams designate scorers who must wear goggles that simulate various vision impairments that the ice dogs have. It's a completely amazing sensation when you walk onto the ice, you've got total sight, and then you put these goggles on for the first time, it really slows you down. You don't realize how important your sight is until it's taken away from you. It just gives you an amazing respect for what these guys can do. I can take these goggles off and have my sight back. These guys can't do it at the end of the game. One of the greatest challenges when you play blind hockey is to overcome a fear and apprehension of getting hurt or of even embarrassing yourself out on the ice. When you first start playing, you're very, very cautious. You're very tentative. You don't want to skate full out. You also spend a lot more energy. The mental and emotional energy is just huge initially because you're so worried. And once you get accustomed to the ice, then you relax a little bit, you skate more, and you play a, a more normal brand of hockey. But initially, you do get very worried and scared until you really, like anything, become accustomed to it. The sighted members of the Calgary Scene Ice Dogs are all volunteers. Their goal is to provide the blind players with a normal hockey experience. Everybody carries their own bag of gear in. Everybody, you know, you check afterwards to make sure nobody left anything behind. And, you know, that's whether it's blind hockey or whether it's normal hockey or, or stuff like that, then. You know, everybody does that anyway, so you just help it out and just making sure everything's taken care of. Everybody has a fun night. Jacqueline Guest of Alberta has always loved hockey, and she has turned that love of the game into a successful career as an author of children's books. Her latest book is called A Goal in Sight. It's a fictional story about a young hockey player who has a bullying problem that gets him into trouble. To get out of trouble, he works with a blind boy who plays for the scene Ice Dogs. Bullying is a problem that needs to be addressed 
by everyone, not just the kids, but by players, coaches, parents, teachers. And so I thought, well, I would like to use uh, bullying as the premise for this book and then use someone completely opposite, the Seeing Ice Dogs, who are such good role models for all of us. I wanted to incorporate them in the book to show the absolute opposite of, of uh, bullying versus good sportsmanship, which the Ice Dogs are. The Ice Dogs are committed to seeing the growth of blind hockey in Canada and the United States. By doing this, they hope to raise awareness for blindness issues while inspiring others to shoot for their own goals. Being a sighted volunteer for the Calgary Seeing Ice Dogs has uh, been a great opportunity for me. They've given me a, a really good appreciation for, you know, people who want to just keep going, being active and, and not let life get in their way. I have lived without sight for so long that I now realize how dispensable sight is. And hockey is just another reflection of that. It's a great opportunity for uh, a blind culture to uh, uh, be further integrated into uh, the sighted community. Calgary Blind Hockey Association Seeing Ice Dogs have several goals and one is to provide uh, recreation and uh, fitness opportunity for blind and visually impaired uh, members. We would also like to encourage other uh, blind athletes to not only pursue some sport or activity that they're passionate about but also hockey or, or anything that um, they feel that they've never been able to do because it's a sighted world, it's a sighted sport. And with a few modifications and some, some help and volunteers, you know, we can all play something that we like. And there may be people out there in various centers and they've always wanted to skate or to play hockey and they just really have not had the, the wherewithal to do it. We're just living proof that you can play blind ice hockey and uh, hopefully some other People start up new teams. We'd love to see some friendly, competitive tournaments with uh, teams in other centers and really see the sport grow. If you have a story idea for Northwest Profiles, send it to KSPS-TV, 3911 South Regal, Spokane, Washington, 99223. Northwest Profiles is a presentation of KSPS Public Television.